All right, then Vinicius to Son on that left-hand side. What a player he is, and he's having a great season. Uh, Vinicius again. Oh, it was tight, but he got there. All right, then long throwing straight onto the head of Kane. It's looking like, yeah, of course it is. Long throwing, deadly. All right, Kane again. Happening here then, Davies on the left-hand side, swing it in. And Vinicius Son. Kane, who's Mora? Okay, it's Mora's goal. Davies, long throw, long, long free kick straight to Kane. Nice, lovely. No one was marking him. On Bele, Winks, great player. Winks is Vinicius. Oh, bad tackle, bad interception. Good goal. The big lads, Alexander Arnold with another long throw in. Oh, bad goalkeeping straight to win now. Now them again. Mane. Gomez. Swing it in, Gomez. Swing it in. There he is. Salah. No, Mane. Went straight to him. Right place, right time. All right. Janic. Man, thought that would have been a decent uh, free kick. Straight to Pedri. Titi. Oh, lovely. Lovely goal. Wish it was a different angle. City again. Nice no, straight hands through Fatty, the young lad, Griezmann. Square it. No, okay, yeah, he did. Yeah, he's there. He's there, isn't he? The main man, Messi. Oh, and Griezmann again. Looks like that was a half decent uh, save, really. <laughs> Weird highlight. Straight to home, Titi. Just, he's there, isn't he? He's just there. Oh, Griezmann, Coutinho. Joe Coutinho. Dina, Junior. Messi, of course it is. Of course it is. Oh, more of a wonder kid. Great player if you can get him as well. Oh, it's still there. Still got it. Coutinho. <laughs> lovely. Lovely for more of a. Hi right, guys, Tucker Jobs and this is Tactic Testing. So the tactic you can see here, you've seen the highlights, it is the 442 Mario EDM or the 4222, whichever way you prefer to look at it, because every everyone has the different perception on what shapes uh, tactics are. And um yeah, you can download this tactic from obviously the FM SCAT, because that's where the tactic came from, but it was originally uploaded, uh, I wouldn't say originally, but it was uploaded the other day onto my discord as well so you can download it obviously at fm scat and for all the guys that follow me on discord you'll find it in the tactics upload section as well and um, so let's get on with the tactic then so the teams that are going to be a part of this test are tottenham liverpool and fulham yes i know liverpool everyone always says they are too overpowered to do testings with but sometimes people just like to see liverpool do pretty great pretty fantastic with some big numbers and um, obviously I get a lot of requests as well for um, testing for tactics and for certain teams All right? and a lot of people ask for Liverpool and I, I don't always do Liverpool but it is nice every now and again just to see how a tactic would do with Liverpool because we all know with Mane and Salah up front in an advanced forward position it's insane uh, but yeah Tottenham as well so again all right, people on the channel, people are talking to me all the time saying we test Tottenham, we test these guys, we do this tactic. So I try and try and dabble it all, try and cater to everyone as much as I can. Uh, so and we've also got Fulham, PSG, Strasbourg, Barcelona, Granada, Paris FC, Espanyol and Tenerife. All right, so Paris FC, Espanyol and Tenerife are all in the lower divisions of their respective countries. Um, so we'll just be glancing over them just to see if it works in the lower leagues as well. But the majority of all these are all top dogs, underdogs, apart from obviously Tottenham, Liverpool and Fulham. Whereas Fulham, yes, is an underdog, but Tottenham isn't. Tottenham is Tottenham's a difficult one. Tottenham struggle. In my opinion, that's that's me. And I don't know if it's my testing, my luck, my bogey team. But yeah, Tottenham never do well in tests because I don't just do videos. I do testing off camera as well all the time. And Tottenham just do not do great in any of them. So I was determined to get a good one for Tottenham uh, as well as obviously all the other teams. So if you can't download the tactics, guys, um, and you don't know how to, obviously, don't worry. I go through all of the individual instructions and set pieces so you can do it all manually uh, i did do a video uh, 
the other day showing you how to import your tactics obviously if you have downloaded them or if you don't know how to do it then just watch that and you'll know how to do it it's pretty pretty easy um so yeah let's uh get on with the tactic then so advanced forward left advanced forward right inside forward left winger right the mazala deep line playmaker wing back left wing back right Central defender left, central defender right. And the sweeper keeper, set piece instructions, corners. Uh, defending right and left and attacking left and right. And the taker is aiming for mixed. And then free kicks, defending right and left and attacking left and right. Whoa, that attacking left. Well, that's been imported from somewhere. <laughs> and right um indirect small chance of shot attacking right and left uh, wide left and right and then deep right and left and all of the taking is obviously uh mixed on all of them uh, for the taker and then throwing instructions defending right and left and attacking left and right and it's the beer wolf 442 system so it looks like there's quite a lot of different bits and bobs um, in this in this set piece of spacing and the throw-ins and the corners and the free kicks. So, yeah, interesting. Nice. Someone's incorporated things that work into a great-looking tactical shape. So, hopefully, it does pretty great. But, as you can see, it's the long throw-in. Um, so, overall, then. So, let's have a look. Mentality is attacking. In possession, fairly wide. Approach play. Passing to space. Overlapping left and right. And play out defence. Uh, passing directness is slightly shorter with a higher tempo. So you're playing short possession football, hopefully. That's that's hopefully the plan. Um, low crosses in the final third. Work ball into box and run at the defence. In transition, counter press and counter. And your goalkeeper's instructions are to distribute to the fullbacks and throw it long. Out of possession, we're looking at using the offside trap with a much higher line of engagement with a higher defensive line and force opposition outside with a defensive width. Uh, use tighter marking, extremely urgent pressing intensity with prevent short goalkeeper distribution and the get stuck in instruction is on, guys. So that's the tactic. The teams you've seen. Um, I would show you the starting 11, but I pretty much do the same all the time. Is pick without restriction. Best 11. That's roughly what it's going to show. But at the end of the day, you play what you think's best. In my opinion, if you go to Liverpool and you select pick without restriction, all right, it's playing Marnie on the right. Already, I'll do that. All right. You know it's you know it's right. Marnie and Salah up front. What a demonic duo those two are. Um, so, yeah, I show the supposed best 11, but it's only selected 11. Um, in my opinion, if you just switch a few players around, you might get a lot better results. Hence the Mane Salah up front. Um, so, yeah, okay. So Tottenham, Liverpool, Fulham, PSG, Strasbourg, Barcelona, Granada, Paris FC, Espanyol and Tenerife are taking on the 4-4-2 Mario EDM uh, tactic. Hopefully it goes absolutely fantastic. I'll see you all at the end of the season. Right then, guys, welcome back to the end of the season. A lot of teams to get through. Let's do a bit of a streamline, cut the video down because... Uh, Maybe you like the shorter videos. I actually don't know. I have had a mention ages ago when I had a middle section that I used to do that I cut out so I could use more teams. Um, but what is your actual preferred time limit? Under 20 minutes? Over 20 minutes? Let us know in the comments so I can start improving the videos, obviously, for, for all you lot. If, if you prefer shorter videos so you can blast through it on your work break. I don't know. Uh, let us know. So anyway, Liverpool, Tottenham and Fulham. First, second, and fifth. I didn't get sacked by Tottenham. One. End of test. See you later. <laughs> so Liverpool came first. Liverpool are a fantastic team. All right, 91 points. They were always going to win. They are so powerful. Uh, but like I've said, people just always comment and uh, like to see certain teams. And I've got a few comments, a few messages of people wanting to see Liverpool. So I try and cater to it with obviously chucking in other teams such as Tottenham and Fulham and all the other uh, teams as well. So let's get on with all of the numbers because that is what you want to see. So yeah, Liverpool, 91 points, but look at the top threes of all three teams. All right, Salah, Mane, Kane, first, second, third, 53 goals, 39 goals, 30 goals. Average rating, Salah, 7.77, came first. Assists, look, Mane and Reed, Reed for Fulham. Uh, Crook. 
just creeping into the top three with 15, uh, 17 for Mane. And Salah and Kane again coming into the player of the matches. Clean sheets, you got Alisson sitting on the top. So let's first go through Tottenham then. So they came second. I didn't get sacked. Also, and well done me. It's not well done me. It's well done to the tactic. Well, that's the Mario 442 EDM. Awesome. Um, so Tottenham, 83 points. Let's have a look at the competitions then. Oh. Lost out in the final of the Euro Cup. It would have been lovely if they won it. Lost out to Milan 2-0. FA Cup got knocked out by Manchester United. And the Carabao Cup also Manchester United. So gutter in there for uh, Tottenham. They were pretty much nearly there on everything. But not quite. But not quite. Uh, let's have a look at the squad then. So best player was Harry Kane with 46 goals in all competitions. Played 7.24 uh, with the assists 8 there. And then after him you got Vinicius at 28 and 8. All the goal scorers after those pair was uh, Son Heung Min and Deli Ali, both getting 23 and 24. So nice one there. Biggest creators in the team, Son Heung Min, Ali, uh, Holzberg, Doherty, Mora, all getting double digits. I'm pretty sure I just said his name wrong, but we're going to move on. We're going to move on. All right. You can pull it in the comments and slate me then. Carry on with the video. Um, team report then, on a whole. Pretty decent. I've seen better bullet spurs. I'm taking anything I get because I didn't get sacked. Remember that. All right. So they did very well with goals per game. Expected goals was high as well. But everyone else, yes, they did fairly well. But I've seen better. Definitely have seen better. Um, let's go to the analyst report then. So scoring, attacking efficiency, you're in the right zones of aggressive and clinical. And then conceding, we are pretty good, quiet and impenetrable. Not bad, not bad Tottenham. Uh, stats, full stats anyway, is 167 goals in all competitions with 73 conceded. And in the league, it was 99 goals scored, which is the second best. And 48 goals conceded, which was the fourth best. So nice one there for uh, Spurs. So Liverpool, the big dogs, the main ones, the best team pretty much in the world uh, on the football manager game. That is all right. There's only a few teams that I class as elite and that's probably PSG, Liverpool. What would your third one be? Let us know in the comments, guys. What would your third one be? Because uh, we all know those two teams are so good. Uh, so let us know. And I might pick them for a test. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we've seen the players let's have a look at their competition so european champions cup knocked out by juventus which is a shame english fa cup they were the winners of that beating manchester united in the final 4-1 uh in the community shield they won 6-1 uh, against arsenal so 6-1 big result there uh, squad best player was Mane, uh, not Mane, salah all right salah was incredible because he scored 73 goals 73 goals, 14 assists. Mane, 53 goals, 22 assists. Both together, you've got 70, uh, 126 goals. <laughs> it's one of them, isn't it? It's, it's one of them. They are so powerful up front. Two advanced forwards. Wow. <sighs> Moving on. All right, biggest goal scorers after them pair were Naldum, Yota, Firmino, all getting double digits. And the biggest creators, Mane, Thiago, Arnold, Salah, Yota, and Henderson, all getting double digits. With the big guys, Mane and Thiago, both getting 22 and 19. Mane, chances are all those 22 assists are probably to Salah. Yeah, of course they are. Of course they are. Team report then, on a whole, fairly dominant, fairly all right, 3.55 goals per game. Expected to get 2.87. So many shots. Doing pretty good on the pass completion and tackle ratio as well. Top ends of the averages. If we go to the analyst report, scoring, aggressive and clinical, right in this corner, away from everybody else. And then conceding, we are quiet and leaky. So, okay, we're not getting as many shots on as Spurs. But obviously, they're being converted more, which is unfortunately... Took us into that zone uh, away from the quiet and impenetrable. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the full numbers. 186 goals, ladies and gentlemen, with 65 conceded. And in the league, we are looking at 135 league goals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 46 conceded, which was the third. 
best. So we're going to the underdogs of the test night in the Premier League, and that was Fulham. Fulham are predicted 20th. The predicted drop dead bottom relegation. You're out of there. No, they're not. No, they're not. They came fifth. Well done, Fulham. 68 points. All right. They only came a point beyond Manchester United. There was there was probably a point when they could have clinched fourth position, but unfortunately, the testing football manager gods would not allow it. Um, any other test? Could be, but also any other test, they might have dropped down into eighth. It can work both ways. Remember, guys, because we're testing, this is just a possibility of many. Um, I'm just showing you the capabilities of a tactic, hopefully good capabilities of a tactic, the numbers that you could look for, uh, who can supply the goals, uh, who can create the goals, make the goals, all right? So it's just that kind of thing when it comes to my videos and testers, as well as all the instructions, because everyone loves the instructions, but the guys I can't download, these videos are a gold mine. Copy all the instructions. Nice. So, yeah, Fulham. Obviously, a couple of players in the uh, top threes. When I say a couple, I mean one, which was Reed on assists. Uh, competitions then. So, FA Cup went out in the semi-final against Liverpool, and then uh, Carabao Cup knocked out by Chelsea. So, in, in fairness, in all competitions, not bad. Not bad for Fulham squad best player was not going to count him he only played two uh, loftus cheek then 7.23 25 goals in all competitions 10 assists biggest goal scorers mitrovic and loftus cheek with reed and lockman after them with all double digits uh, them to obviously pair up front doing the best biggest creators harrison reed mitrovic loftus cheek reed and anguaza anguaza what a name andre frank zambo anguaza am i saying that right maybe uh, all doing pretty well, right? 17, 12, 10, 10, and 8 for them. And then if we go to team report on a whole, that's probably what I'm expecting, really. All right, similar-ish, obviously, in style to the bigger teams, just a lot smaller. Just a lot smaller. Um, so, yeah, well done to Fulham there. And then analyst report, scoring. We are aggressive and clinical still. Yeah, we are, all right? Just pretty much budded up there to Manchester United. So on the analytics side... We're pretty much the same as Man U. Obviously, we're not, but tactic allowed us to be this time around. Uh, conceding, we are nice one, quiet and impenetrable in the right zone. So we're getting a lot of shots, but thankfully they're not being converted, which is uh, left us in those the right area. Uh, full numbers: 106 goals with 69 goals conceded uh, in the league. You're looking at 76 goals scored, which is actually the fourth best in the whole league, and then 57 goals conceded, which was the ninth best there so that's the premier league guys let's go all the way to uh, france psg and strasbourg see how they did Ooh, ooh! all right we're always expecting psg to come first especially with the plug and play tactic they are absolutely incredible so strong compared to everybody else in that league and um, so yeah one draw one loss 36 wins 124 goal difference and 109 points second place strasbourg though nice one strasbourg are predicted 11 so they are a mid to low team uh, coming second is absolutely fantastic, especially to beat Marseille, Lyon, or right, Monaco. They're great teams in themselves, so well done to the Strasbourg. But look at the difference between first and second. 109-75. It's like real life. It's like real life. Top threes then for both teams. We've got Mbappe, Cardi, and Dalio, uh, Diallo um, all coming in the top three. 53, 53 goals. 37 and 31. Average rating, all PSG. All right. And Bappe, Cardi, and Neymar. Assists, you got Verratti, Neymar, and Aholo. Aholu? Aholu? Oh. <laughs> 17, 13, and 12. And then player of the matches, and Bappe, and a York. A York. And then Navas with the clean sheets. So 24 clean sheets. Awesome. So let's have a look at PSG's competitions. Yeah, they're expecting. Champions Cup. Um, it's a shame they actually got knocked out in the first round by Liverpool. But French Cup, they won that in the final against Strasbourg as well. So Strasbourg got all the way to the final. Awesome for them. Unfortunately, it's PSG, so it's 2-1. And the Trophy Swiss champions they beat Marseille 2-1. So they've got the treble. Nice one, PSG, but also expected. A squad, let's have a look at the squad then. Kylian Mbappe, best player. 68 league goals with 14 assists. And the Cardi with 50 goals, 17 assists. Both together, we're looking at 118 goals. Is it one of them? <laughs> it's not it's not it's not as good as uh, it's not as effective as Mane and Salah but still pretty impressive and then the best uh, after them 
you've got Keane and Neymar getting 12 and 12. And then biggest grade scene team, you've got Verratti, the deep line playmaker, Neymar, Cardi, Mbappe, uh, Florenzi, Demari, Herrera, all right, Herrera, all getting double digits on creating those goals. And oh, Florenzi, that's a lot of yellow cards, dude. 20 yellow cards, the right back. You menace, you menace. Um, team report on a whole, absolutely smashed it. You can just see that there. You can look at the numbers, guys. Insane. Uh, and then if we go to analyst report, scoring all the way at the top, all the way expected. Conceding, we are right at the bottom, quiet and impenetrable. And then the full numbers is 185 goals scored with only 41 conceded in all competitions and in the league, 148 league goals. Oh my. And 24 conceded. Oh my. <laughs> so 24 is very low. So well done there to PSG. Uh, a fantastic team with a fantastic tactic. Obviously got pretty great numbers. Um, so next up then, Strasbourg. They are the mid to low team. They did very well coming second. They have qualified for your uh, European Champions League next season. Well done. Competitions. We know they didn't win. Came runners up. I don't even know why I looked. We knew it. We knew that squad then best player was diallo the striker 33 goals for him and four assists and after him you've got that guy ludovic i'm gonna say ludovic ludovic talk yeah yeah 33 and 12 for him biggest goal scorers after them pair was waris and thomason uh 10 and 5 so yeah biggest creators a hollow him waris <laughs> I should watch videos on these guys and just see how they're pronounced because I just see P R C I C. I don't, I don't actually see a name there. That's just like someone's just dropped a cup on the keyboard. <laughs> okay, ten assists for him. Well done. And then if we have a look at the team report, <laughs> general performance is very, very well done to them. It's uh, pretty high on all the averages. Obviously far exceeding when it comes to goals per game, XG and shots per game. And then full stats, 110 goals with 59 goals conceded. Back to the analyst report. We are aggressive and clinical and then conceding uh, quiet and leaky. So awesome job there for Strasbourg in the league. It was 94 goals scored, which was the second best and uh, 55 goals conceded, which was the second best. And in Spain now, guys, Barcelona and Granada, all right, top dog and underdog once again. How did they do? Oh, no, Barcelona didn't come first. That's a shame. I was hoping that I was going to get first all across the board. Um, so they came second, 91 points, obviously two points behind Real Madrid, unfortunately. But Granada, they are predicted 16, so pretty much nearly fighting relegation, to be fair. And uh, coming fifth, qualified for Europe. Not European Champions League, but still Europe. All right, they've got uh, Euro European competition next season so well done to them let's have a look at the top three you've got messi and suarez suarez is the striker for granada and he came second with 42 goals he actually only came six goals behind messi no doubt messi would have been used as the as the advance forward because a lot of tactics do that or oh, i'll try and make that happen because he's fantastic as a striker oh, simple as that uh but suarez 42 awesome uh, average rating messi at the top spot and then you've got uh Ganolan. Maxim Ganolan uh, comes second with Messi third on the assists. And then Messi came first on the player of the matches with 14 there. So let's have a look at their competitions then. Barcelona, runners up with the Champions Cup. <sighs> they went out against Juventus on penalties as well. Oh dear. So they didn't win that, but they did win the Spanish Cup. So they got a little bit of silverware, at least one in this test uh, with a 3-1 win over Real Madrid. And then if we go to the squad, Best player was Messi. 65 goals in all competitions with 18 assists. And the biggest goal scorers after him then was Griezmann, Fatih, Coutinho, all getting double digits. 11, 22, 25. Biggest creators, Messi, Dion, Griezmann, Roberto, Coutinho, Alba, Busquets. All getting double digits, guys. Obviously, Messi getting 18. He gets everything, doesn't he? Everything. Ooh, ooh, you. <laughs> Team report on a whole, pretty much expected and the same as the other elite teams so well done there analyst report scoring aggressive and clinical and then conceding we are also quiet and impenetrable and the full numbers 165 goals 67 conceded so once again it's kind of 
coming to it's one of them tactics again you're scoring a lot of goals your strikers are scoring a lot of goals it's kind of letting them score maybe too many as well for the teams that you are yeah i know that they're in a lot of competitions in europe and stuff like that but i've seen some tactics that do probably let in 40s some 30s all right so it's possible to do very well defensively and um offensively so yeah maybe sort the back line out maybe tweak it we all love tweaks i always say you've got to tweak tactics all right Cause these are not certainly guaranteed to get you everything you need throughout the whole course of a season you're probably going to have to dabble a little bit just to improve it yourself maybe just to fit it to your team a little better um so yeah let us know in the comments what you actually do so you can let everyone else know all right community guys community and in the league then 111 goals scored with uh, 41 goals conceded so yeah that was barcelona for you guys Next up are the underdogs, Granada. They came fifth. Well done there. We've seen the players in the top stats. It's all about the Suarez. The striker got 42 league goals. How did they do in the competitions? Euro Cup. Uh, that's for next season. Uh, Spanish Cup then. Fourth round got knocked out by Villarreal. And then squad then. Best player was one game. Don't count that. Or him. Suarez. <laughs> 49 goals. 49 goals in all competitions for a team like Granada. Nice. Uh, four assists as well, biggest goal scorers. Uh, Suarez, Makis, and Soldado. 13, 14, and 49. And then the biggest creators was uh, Gonalons and Never with 16 and 11. Team report on a whole. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Obviously, you're going to concede a lot more than the other teams uh, on the averages, but you're still pretty high-ish. Um, but goals per game, expected goals per game. Shots are way above the averages there. Analyst report, stats, uh, no, analyst report first. Scoring, attacking efficiency, aggressive and clinical. And then conceding, we are quiet and leaky, nearly tipping to the busy and leaky there, which tells me obviously you've conceded quite a lot of goals, which was 74, so not really a lot, but obviously when it comes to the statistics, that's where it places you. And 113 goals scored, and in the uh, league, it was 95 goals scored, which was the best or second best after Barcelona, obviously. And then a 70 goals conceded, which was fifth worse, unfortunately. So that is the main point of the tactic with all those teams. A couple of the lower teams was also using this tactic in the lower league. So Paris FC, they came second. Nice one. They are predicted uh, 14th. So awesome there in the uh, lower ranks of France. And then if we look at Espanyol and Tenerife, all right, they are also in the Spanish second division. First and second, Espanyol expected. All right, they are a great team in that league. They were predicted first, and they did come first. So well done to them. And then Tenerife were predicted ninth, and they came second. So, all right, did pretty well in the lower leagues as well, guys. So check it out. Let us know how you did. This is the tactic if you want to have a final look. So well done. The four four two Mario EDM tactic. Uh, but yeah, let us know in the comments. How did your team do? What can you? suggest that will make it better um like i said at the start of the video this tactic is also in my discord and on the fm scout uh, website so go to the fm scout website check out all the tactics it's got all the creations from various authors and also they've got the naps table they can check out as well that well you know him you should know him all right he does quite a lot of very powerful tactics and uh, yeah check them all out hopefully something there will allow you to have a fantastic game and a fantastic save and uh, yeah, I've also got Discord, like I've just said. So come over, say hello, and we can have a nice little chat as well, uh, as well as obviously the Tucker community and that are all involved in hopefully making everyone's saves a little bit better. Yeah, I'm Tucker Jobs. Hopefully you uh, consider subscribing, liking, uh, and I've already said commenting on the video. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.